Assassin's Creed 3, available for pre-order now. Hello and welcome to the ninth episode of the Weapons of Assassin's Creed series, I'm Escoblades. In this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Switchblade. The Switchblade was a concealed weapon used by the Templars, in a similar fashion to the Hidden Blade of the Assassins. It became the favoured weapon of Il Lupo or the Prowler as he appeared in the multiplayer portion of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The Switchblade was a Templar device worn on the forearm which folded into a blade when extended. Unlike its assassin counterpart, the blade was never completely sheathed and split into two separate parts before folding inwards when it was not in use. Easily concealed and silent, it was used to inflict mortal wounds on the victim's abdomen, chest, neck and back in order to penetrate vital organs or the jugular. It was also sometimes referred to as the replica hidden blade and was described by Warren Vidic as a weapon that was especially designed to aid the Templars rise up to the challenge presented by assassin weapons and fighting techniques. Now the Switchblade of Assassin's Creed appears to be inspired by and based off two ancient weapons of history, the Roman gladiator scissors and the Indian katara. The scissors were invented in Egypt around 1500 BC and were made of a single piece of metal, usually bronze. At around 100 AD, the Romans improved on this design by having the blades cross each other, similar to the modern design we use today. Many of the Roman modifications to the scissors were eventually adopted within the gladiatorial arena. The Indian Katara was a type of push dagger characterized by its H-shaped horizontal hand grip, unlike the switchblade presented in the Assassin's Creed games, which was fixed on a gauntlet, the Katara looked like a sword that sat above the user's knuckles. The basic katara had a short wide triangular blade. The handle was made up of two parallel bars connected by two or more cross pieces, one of which was at the end of the side bars and fastened to the blade. The remainder formed the handle which was at right angles to the blade. The whole handle was generally of an all steel construction and was usually formed in one piece together with the blade. It was a pretty simple design but the weapon itself was far from easy to use effectively. The Katara originated in Tamil Nadu in India, where its local name was Katari before it was altered to Katara in the north. It was a unique weapon to southern Asia, eventually becoming the most famous of all the Indian daggers. In the 1900s, several novelty variants of the Katara were created for the British. One of these designs included the Scissors Katara, which is the version that bears the closest resemblance to the mechanism of the Assassin's Creed Switchblade. The Scissors Katara appeared as a single blade until the handle was squeezed through a mechanism that allowed the blades to separate, forming a scissors-like shape. Although records show that this version was never actually used in combat, it would still have been just as deadly. Other versions of the Katara incorporated single-shot pistols that were built into either side of the weapon. In the 18th and 19th centuries, some traditional Katara were refurbished with this innovation, as well as the scissors modifications. The pistols were meant to deal the killing blow after the Katara had been thrust into the enemy, but like most combination weapons, the effectiveness of the pistol Katara is doubtful. During the height of its use, ceremonial Katara were also used in worship and rituals. For example, the Rajput hunted tigers with these blades. Killing a tiger with such a purely offensive and short range weapon would be a boost in status for he who killed it, marking him without question as one of the bravest and most skilled warriors in the land. Now it's uncertain if Ubisoft took this into consideration when designing it, but as a coincidence, the wielder of the switchblade, the Prowler, originally went by the name of the Hunter prior to Brotherhood's release. And this concludes our look at the switchblade within Assassin's Creed. As always, a big thank you to Dean Nuke and her Art of Swords blog, as well as 16E, the com dev of the Assassin's Creed wiki, for their help, guidance, and collaboration on this project. Additional source material comes from the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the World Encyclopedia of Knives, Daggers, and Bayonets by Dr. Tobias Capwell. All relevant links are shown on the screen and in the video description. Thank you for watching, take care, and bye for now.